Big Little Lies has been a big, huge hit. Has the reception to it been surprising? I mean, you knew it had something special, but you never know how an audience is going to react. No, you never know. And it really is. What you realize the more you do this, it's lining in a bottle, you know. There's so many amazing um, shows out there. And But what I did know is there wasn't a lot with, you know, five women at the center. Little did we know, by the way, we'd be in the same year as like shows like The Handmaid's Tale, where there are so many women at the center, which is, I mean, it's an amazing year for women. You know, I was looking at the drama category, just thinking, oh my God, like The Crown has a complex woman at the center. Stranger Things have these complex women at the center. Handmaid's Tale, obviously our show, it's pretty incredible, yeah. yeah. So this is an adaptation. For you as a producer, when you're reading a book, what is it that you look for, a piece of advice you would pass along to producers yeah. who are trying to find material? Yeah, I mean, look, my, my, I live by this same thing, which is I, I look for good writing, one, because I think voice is everything. But really, secondly, I look for something that feels like something I haven't seen before. And that could be in a kind of uh, a structure, a format, a voice, a feeling. And that's what I always say to the kind of women, young women that work for me, is like, if it feels like you can't kind of grab onto a comparison, that's probably a good thing. And what was the biggest challenge was putting this particular project together? I've got to tell you, it wasn't that challenging. I mean, it was just, you know, some of the best things I've been involved with have just been like these kind of rocket ships. And this was no exception. We had kind of started to make writers' lists. We got a call that David Kelly had read the book. Um, yeah, exactly. When David Kelly calls, I mean, is yeah. there any other answer? Yeah, look, you know, it's what what's so important is that like people see what you see, right? So, you know, no matter who the writer is, you kind of want to have a conversation about it. And he really saw what we saw. And the other thing that he had that you know, for me, it said in Australia, um, and I'm obviously Australian. Um, what was really important is that it was California because. It wasn't until I came to California, I was like, oh, this feels like Australia. Just the, being the proximity to the ocean everywhere. And David, ha living in Northern California, really understood that at, at such a kind of, you know, kind of instinctual way. Um, so, yeah. And then everything went from there. We picked the best partners in HBO. And, um, you know, we already had our two leads. And then, you know, probably the hardest job is always just finding the filmmaker. And even that was the first guy we sent it to. So, yeah. What was it about John Mark Berlay that attracted you, that you said, this is our guy? Yeah, I mean, a reason I'd had the luxury of making Wad with him, and it had been such a phenomenal experience from start to finish. And, you know, he's a guy who, he just, he's, you know, he doesn't respond to, like, the money, the size. He just is an emotional guy who responds to, like, whether he feels something, and he really had such an emotional response to these scripts. This has been a very challenging year. What keeps you optimistic about this business, about possibilities? What still excites you? I mean, I'm so optimistic. Anyone who knows me, I think Australians are optimistic. You know, for for the last few years, I've made it my job to put women, but you know, behind the camera and in front of our cameras. And so, I, what I'm really excited about now is like that that the wind is on our backs, and that finally people are starting to pay attention to the huge gender imbalance, to the you know, to the huge problems in terms of the way you know, not just women, but diversity is kind of, and inclusiveness is happening in our stories. And so I'm really excited about the future. I think that we need to make the most of this moment and just keep making stories. Excellent advice. Thank you so much for talking to us.